All right, in this video, I'm going to go over the properties of uh, isosceles triangles, equilateral triangles, and right angle triangles. The first triangle we're looking at here is an isosceles triangle. All right, and the properties of an isosceles triangle, that means the, the main features of an isosceles triangle uh, are not very difficult to understand. Um, one of the first properties is that the opposite sides are equal. That means that the length of this side is the same as the length of this side. All right. We have to remember that uh, the corners uh, are called uh, uh, vertex or the vertices in plural, uh, and this is called the apex. Okay, the apex vertex. Okay. So that's the apex. That means that it's the um, it's the, the point at at the top. It's the main uh, angle of the three. All right. The rule or the prop the other properties of an isosceles triangle are that the ang the interior angles are the same. Okay. So the angle on the the this angle here, which faces this angle here, these two angles are the same. Okay? And uh, another, pr another property of uh, an isosceles triangle is that um, if you drew an imaginary line down the middle uh, with a ruler, which I don't have, so uh, I'm not going to continue it, uh, it would go directly down and it would split the base exactly in half. Okay? In this particular case, it's, this is an acute isosceles triangle, uh, but you can also get um, a right angle isosceles triangle, and I'll let you investigate what other types of isosceles triangles there are, uh, but there are some more. The way we decide whether it is an acute or right angle or another type of isosceles triangle is we look at the apex. The apex angle is the angle that tells us whether it is an acute isosceles or a right angle isosceles or some other version. Okay. All right. So let's go on to the equilateral triangles. Okay. This is a, an equilateral triangle, and uh, with an equilateral triangle, um, it's it's pretty straightforward as well. All three of the sides are going to be of an equal size. Because the uh, sides are all the same, the same uh, means that all the internal angles are the same as well. All right? And that brings us to uh, a little rule uh, called the um, sum of angles. Okay, the sum of angles is actually for all triangles. Okay, so it applies to all triangles, and it says that uh, all the internal angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. Okay, it doesn't matter whether it's an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, any other any other triangle. Uh, the rule says that if you add up all of the internal angles of a triangle, they must all add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so in this case, an isosceles triangle, or sorry, an equilateral triangle, uh, because all the sides are equal, it means that all of the angles are congruent. Congruent which means that they are all the same. This angle is exactly identical to this angle, and this angle is exactly identical to that angle. And if you could cut them up and place them on top of each other, you would not be able to tell the difference. They are exactly the same. OK? All right, so the angle sum, or the sum of all angles uh, for a triangle, says that all the angles must add up to 180 degrees. That goes for all triangles. 
And in the case of an equilateral triangle, all three angles are congruent. Okay? Now, knowing that all three angles must add up to 180 degrees, we can easily work out that um, each angle is 60 degrees. Okay, so this angle here is 60 degrees, this angle here is 60 degrees, and this angle here is also 60 degrees. Okay? That goes for all equilateral triangles. They are not any different. They're all the same. Okay? All right, let's go into the next one. All right, uh, this is a, a right angle triangle, uh, or a right triangle if, uh, for some people. Uh, so in a right angle triangle, there's clearly a right angle, which uh, in this particular case it's here, and we sh always show a right angle by putting the little square in the corner there. And there are certain parts of a uh, right angle triangle. Uh, for example, uh, the side here, which uh, I'll call um, side A, uh, which is across from the right, the angle which is the right angle, uh, this is called the hypotenuse. Okay, so side A is called the hypotenuse. All right, and this is obviously the the right angle. If we call uh, this side side B and we call this side side C, uh, we can also say that um, side B is called a leg and side C is also called a leg. Okay, And uh, we would say that side B is opposed or opposite. side A, and the same thing for side C. Okay. Uh, if we were talking about side B and side C, and we were talking about how they are related, we would say that side B and side C are what's called adjacent. Okay. So you need to Remember that because those are mathematical terms. Okay? Right. Okay. Uh, one other thing I'm going to point out uh, since we're basically finished uh, looking at these three uh, types of triangles uh, on a, at a very basic level is that um, uh, when we are labeling the uh, corners or the vertices of triangles, we do it a certain way. So if I start with a capital letter A here for uh, this uh, for this corner or this vertex, uh, B for this vertex, and C for this vertex, all right. Uh, if I was going to be talking about this triangle, I would write a little, I would show a little angle symbol, and I would say A. B, C. Okay, so this triangle is actually, it actually does have a name. It's called triangle ABC. And the letter B, okay, or the letter in the middle, in this middle spot here, always has to be the letter of the angle that is in the middle of the triangle, okay, or in the middle of the angle that you're talking about, okay? Okay, so on that note, we'll wrap it up. Good luck.